Previously on Alan Wake. What? I don't want to hear it. What the hell was that? You're remarkably more calm than I am, sir. Okay. <laughs> no! No! Flare gun! <laughs> Oh, creatures of darkness. They just never expect the flare gun attack. And now... Hello, audience, and welcome back to Alan Wake. Previously, we'd watched a creepy show on the television in the interest of completion, and I was about to go out to the place I really don't want to go. Stop it. Stop making noises, Carl. Get more manuscript pages. What's this thingy? What? What? Where? Where are you? Oh gosh, I'm going to die. Item limit reached. Yeah? You don't seem to have much patience. I said I could pay you. Carl. Hey, Carl. Hey, Carl. Thanks for... Oh, shoot. Die. Hey. Okay, okay, come on. Come on. No, no, no! No, the. I thought that the barrel would explode. Oh, these guys are really annoying. Oh gosh, I'm sorry! Oh no, no! Don't kill Alan Wake! Oh... These guys are blockers! Carl! Okay, I have 20 batteries. I should switch them more often. And you don't have very much patience, Carl. If you had patience, we wouldn't be having this conversation. Okay, excellent. That's right. No, that way. Kill him. Okay. Load it. Okay. There we go. We need a new battery. Okay. No! No, 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 no! Carl! 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 No! Was that Carl? Carl? No, Carl's right there. No! It didn't work! Carl! Come back. Oh, fetchers. Carl? Carl! Carl! Stand still, Carl. Take it like a man. That's right. Take it like a man. Burn an ape! We all have to die eventually, Carl. Oh. Stucky's body vanished, oh. leaving behind only a lifetime oh. of nightmares to come. 
Assuming oh. I've reached the lights of the gas station alive. Oh. Indeed. That's a very big assumption. Oh my gosh. And if that's, that's the first boss battle. I am... I'm in trouble. I'm in trouble, audience. I'm in a lot of trouble. I did not take that boss battle very well. Okay. Let's get out of here. Come on. Just open it. Okay. Come on. Gas station, please. What? Wait, actually. Uh, I'm gonna hate myself later if I don't go back and get the collectible thermos thing. Because I knew it was here. And it'd be kind of dumb to just walk by it when you know it's there. I mean, it's one thing not to bother going searching for those kind of things, but when it's so blatantly obvious, it's kind of like, okay, I might as well go get it. Hey guys, um. Your landlord guy? I recognized the parade what? float I had seen in Bright Falls when I first arrived with Alice. Okay, cool parade float. Awesome. What? Shut up, everybody. Audience. You're not growling in the background, are you? Flashlight, where do I go? Yeah, I'm right After over here. The insanity the I stairs, just right over there. Over there. Okay. The lights of the gas station felt comforting, at least for a moment. The same world reasserted itself. This is a sucky old gas station. The deer what fest had been two weeks away when we arrived. If the day count on the banner was right, I was missing a whole week between the night we got here and now. That's concerning. That is really concerning. Closed. What about this one? Alright, I'm gonna have to go in through the garage. The garage was a mess. It looked like someone had trashed the place, or that there'd been some kind of fight. Yeah, it's pretty trashed, alright. Oh no. Right. I'll keep writing. Outside, there's only darkness. Outside the cabin, outside the story, there's only darkness. I can feel a presence in the dark. Just now, I could oh smell gosh, it's that crazy room. widow lady. I'll reach her, I'll fix it up. I'll bring her back. The story will come true. If I stop, she's lost. I don't believe this. It'd been what? me on the TV, talking crazy. Was I losing what? my mind? Quite possibly. That is definitely a possibility. Um. Okay, first let's look and see if there's any good thing. Dear Fast, 15th to the 18th. Games and activities. For the children, the Bucktooth Charlie and Montgomery the Mystic's amazing phantasmagoria in the evening. Don't miss the legendary Dear Fest parade. Sound like this? I don't think it's that, um, legendary, really. I mean, it's good to be proud of your local tradition, but... Okay. Let's see if I can Rainfall get a hold of Sheriff Station. And here comes... Well, that's not the Sheriff, is it? It is? Oh, I thought it was the guy with the funky Thank hat. God, Sheriff. Sheriff Sarah Breaker, you are... I'm Alan Wake, but listen! I was in a car crash. My wife, Alice, she's missing. Calm down, Mr. Wade. We were staying in a cabin on the island, on Cauldron Lake. There's no island on Cauldron Lake. Not since the big eruption in the 70s. What? Please, I can take you there, okay? You look like you've taken a pretty bad knock to the head. Yeah, okay? and probably some other knocks. Listen, we'll figure this out. Please get in the car. We'll swing by the lake, what? and then we'll go to the station, okay? Mr. Wake, have you seen Stucky, the guy who owns this place? I realized I couldn't tell her what had happened in the forest. She wouldn't have believed me. And then she wouldn't have helped me with Alice. 
It's a good point. Finally, somebody with sense that doesn't try and tell like the first person they see everything. Because I always thought that was really dumb in a lot of stories where people just are like, so this crazy stuff happened, and they're like, why don't you believe me? Clown, they call the Sandman. Tiptoes to my room every night, and just to sprinkle stardust and to whisper, go to sleep. Everything is all right. Everything is very much not all right, I close sir. My eyes. Then I Previously on Alan Wake, I came to Bright Falls with my wife Alice. Thank you for coming here with me. I thought maybe you could write here. I don't want to hear it. God damn it, Alice. Now, she's missing. Alice? <laughs> Alice? I woke up behind the wheel of a crashed car. I'm missing a week. I was attacked by shadowy men straight from a nightmare. The sheriff took me to the lake Alice and I had stayed at, but the cabin had disappeared. Audience, some strange crap is going down. New York City, long time ago? Honey, I'm home. Back here, sweetie. How was it? Worst weather I've ever seen. You should put some coffee on. It'll warm you up. Thank goodness I'm not wearing that freaking coat anymore. That's pretty wretched weather. Dang, look at that. Coffee's on. Great, thanks. I'll need it if I'm going to finish this by tomorrow. Wow, cool new TV. Awesome. Honey, I really like the fact that we got a new TV. That's pretty sweet. I'm not gonna go outside. Why would I do that? Cool city pictures of New York. I locked all the doors in my house so that I can't go be crazy in them. Alan Wake, return to sender. What I can't forget. Alex Casey, wow. Now it's Casey thriller, he called Alex Casey. He didn't have the best uh, names for those. Just saying. Oh, hey, I just finished those cover mock ups. They're on your desk. You Tell mean, me what you think. You do the cover no stuff for me? I didn't think you'd get them done this quickly. On wow. occasion, I we can have perform awesome all sorts of miracles, my dear. Oh, really? Well, you seem to think so last night. Oh, ho, ho, ho. That was clever. I'm trying to. I can't seem to examine them very well. But I look pretty dang manly with that goatee on. Okay, so honey, I... There's a strong lack of a B button for examining cover mockups. Um, seriously. Where are they? Did you hide them from me somewhere? Oh, they're on my desk. Ooh, manuscript pages. These look really good. Oh, sure, until Barry gets his hands on them. Which, by the way, will happen over my dead body. The last time was the last time. Oh, and speaking huh. of Barry, he called. <gasps> Alan! Alan! Please check the fuse box! I'm okay. right here. I'm on it, honey. Please hurry! Honey, it's a power outage. I I've got the flashlight. Okay. It's okay. We'll be Hi. fine. You okay? 
I'm sorry. I'm gonna shine this straight it in your just, face. It just really spooked me. Don't worry. We'll just break out the candles. It'll be fine. I know it's stupid, but it's just. Especially when I'm not prepared for it, you know? It gets to me. I love you. It's okay. Because it makes you cuddle close ready. to me. Okay. <clears throat> I used to have these nightmares when I was a kid. The dark really spooked me, too. When it got really bad, my mom gave these me this old light switch. They're actually like the critically clicker. important revelations, the clicker, probably. Huh? Yeah. If I ever got scared of the dark, I could just flip the switch and a magic light would scare the monsters away. Oh, sure. Here it is. It's a Alan. good mother. <laughs> Maybe it'll help you, too. <laughs> yeah, nice story, writer boy. You made that up right now, didn't you? No, no. <laughs> Seriously. Seriously. Even if you are a liar. Thanks for this. <laughs> she sees right through you. Oh, yeah. Make out on the couch. This is the cold winter winds blow around you. Back to the sucky day. Hmm. How do you feel, Mr. Wake? Any nausea, disorientation, anything like that? Mr. Wake, how are you feeling? Like I drove off a cliff and got attacked by people. I'm okay. My head's fine. I had to <laughs> oh, lie about my You're a good liar, boss. then. He'd send me to a hospital for tests. I couldn't leave without Alice. Hmm, very well. Um, I don't think you have a concussion, but you've obviously been through quite a shock. You should take it easy for a couple of days. Thanks. Well then, Mr. Wake, we're done here. If the pain awesome. gets any worse or you experience any other symptoms, you should come see me. I'm now experiencing get on with it, quite a Sarah, few other uh, symptoms. Sheriff Breaker is waiting for you. She's very good at her job. I'm sure she can locate your wife in no time. Doc Nelson was the image of a small town doctor. Sheriff Breaker had called him to the station to take this a look at the cut in my head. Hey, it's that creepy lady that's scared of the dark. I need to know your Thank you for tips. testing the lights, Miss Weaver. Everything seems to be fine. I don't have the luxury of being complacent, Deputy Grant. The bulbs will need changing soon. You can't change them in the dark. I'll be sure to take care of it, Miss Weaver. Have a nice day now. Very good. I'll come back later on to remind you just You in have case. some issues, lady. However, Mr. Wade, You're probably a kindred spirit of mine. We need to talk. You corner. know about the dark. Uh, okay. That was Cynthia Weaver. I guess you can call her the town eccentric. She used to be the editor of the local newspaper, but she's focused on um well, other things these days. <laughs> other things. Oh, so I don't need to be there. Ah, you guys are locking all the doors from me now. Holding cells. But you want to bet I end up in there at some point. The loony bin. I'll steal a coffee thermos. Because the one thing video games teach you is kleptomania. Yeah, it's uh, Mulligan here. I'm at Stucky's gas station with Thornton. There's no sign of him. No sign over. of him over. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, this is Thornton. Look, we've located the parade float. It's here. That's some good news, right? Stucky was supposed to be driving it at the rehearsal today. Over. Oh, give me that. Mulligan here. Looks like someone really thrashed the garage. Over. It's okay. true. Roger that, guys. Keep looking for Stucky. Jane's out. Good news is, is that we still have the parade float. I mean, seriously. The sheriff wants Although to I see went you the wrong way. Office, Mr. Wade. Yes, I know. I can't read floating signs that are above my head. Richard Bob, Bruce Dansky, Jacob Miller. They look like they might be the game designers or something. Knack for winning contest. <laughs> uh, all right. Come in, Mr. Wake. Your phone's on the desk. The battery was dead. It's charged now. Oh, thank goodness. Have you started looking for my wife yet? My men are already That's pretty on demanding. Now, can you tell me what happened? I'm not sure. I can't remember. We were arguing. I walked out of the cabin. The cabin on Cauldron Lake? How did you end up at Stucky's gas station? I wanted to tell her what had happened last night, but I couldn't. 
she'd lock me up. You don't need to lie. Excuse me, I need to take this. Hello? Alan, please help me. Oh, Alice? creepy. Stop talking to the law. You'll do exactly what I say if you ever want to see your wife again. What? Who is this? Go to the back lot. There's a hole in the fence on the left. Look inside the junker. I left a little something there to convince you we're all on the same page here. After you ditch the cops, you're gonna meet me in Elderwood National Park. There's a spot called Lover's Peak. Midnight. And don't do nothing stupid, pal. We're watching you. Watching me how? I need some fresh air. Can I go out? In the back, maybe? Of course, Mr. Wake. I understand. You can get there through the cells. Deputy Grant can show you the way. I'm sorry. All of this, it's just a lot to take in. Take your time, Mr. Wake. I understand. Yeah, except for running away from the cops, Wake, dude. Can I help you with That's anything? That's a pretty bad plan. I need to get some air. The sheriff said I could go out back. Of course, Mr. Wake. Hey, you can hey, get Mr. there through the cell corridor. Hey, can you turn the light? The light's on! The deputies, they won't... They don't understand. They Thank you, man. Thank you. Hey, you're all right. You're a good guy. Don't I hope so. Don't anybody tell you different. You I, know, okay. I shouldn't even be in Whoa, here. you are drunk, yeah. The cops, they got it all wrong. See, sure, 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 I beat him up, but I wasn't drunk. Is that a manuscript page in there? I mean, what was I doing? I dropped these there everywhere. Time. I only got the early morning light hurt my eyes and made my head ache. The man on the phone had said, go through the fence on the left. Just a second, I gotta go be a kleptomaniac and still think. All right. Well, hey, folks, it's been another long night, and uh, it's about time for me to sign off for a while. God knows I need my beauty sleep. <laughs> uh, just one more item before I go. It's You've been on all night? night? Sheriff's Department. We've had this a must be a really early one. Even a report of shots fired on Main Street. Deputies Mulligan and Thornton had to deal with two intoxicated young men who were celebrating the completion of their dear best with gunshots. Folks, we Sounds like a good cover story. Year. I know it's exciting, the big day's almost here, but let's save it for the party and leave the gunplay for the yep. shooting competition, huh? No point in getting Makes sense. Shroom. I hope they don't think I'm going to drive that thing. Shroom. There we go. Kick! Epic Elway Kick! I'm awesome. And I found more of those things. Alice's driver's license had been placed on the front seat. The caller meant business. Oh, Barry? gosh, dang it. Ow, ow, thank God! Where the hell have you been? I've been trying to reach you for a week, you and Alice. Oh, I've been worried sick. I flew out yesterday. I'm here, here in Bright Falls. Barry, listen to me. I'm at the sheriff's station. Come and get me. I can't talk now. Al, what the hell is going on? I had to get the sheriff to let me go. I needed to get to Elderwood National Park to meet Alice's kidnappers. Yeah? I... I guess so, but seriously, you guys that always make this stupid mistake? Seriously. Don't leave the cops out of all of this. All it does is make you look bad. And more suspicious. And... Doesn't get the bad guys caught. I mean, honestly, the bad guys, they want something from you, so they're not going to freaking off their hostages just because you're like, hey, cops, something's going on. They're still going to try and just manipulate you other ways, and they know if they lose all of their holds over you that that won't even work. So let's not panic and freaking run away from the cops and not give them anything. At least, like, tell them what the fetch you're doing. I mean, seriously, they, they know this stuff. They're trained to do it. That's their freaking job. So let's just stop being retarded, okay? Sounds good. Anyway, looking at the time, it's time to call it an episode. So I'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching! I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I did putting it together. Be sure to leave a like and a favorite and join me on the rest of my adventures as I quest for courage. I'll catch you next time.